The Center of Orphan Drug Research approached the University of Minnesota Department of Theater, Arts and Dance, and they said that we have a challenge. My daughter has an ultra rare disease. My youngest had a very, very rare disease. I have a lived experience with a rare disease through my daughter, Chloe. 30 million Americans are affected by any particular rare condition, which is like one in 10. A lot of us with a rare disease, we don't like to go to the doctor. The system itself is just not set up in a way that these physicians can really sit with a patient and just really absorb a story and understand. She said that 30% of children with rare diseases die before the age of five. And they said, this information is not getting out to the public. The bird gave me a call and asked if I'd be interested in doing a play what it's like to have a rare disease, which I do. If the mission is to try to get out as much information about rare diseases as possible, this is a great vehicle to do it. This hybrid of this Greek play put together with rare disease, put together with orphan drug research. A story! All of these stories came from people who we interviewed. We devised this show, amplifying their voices. Like, puzzle pieces that seem to fit. One of the ideas they had was to tie it with a Greek play called Philoctetes um, by Sophocles. The Philoctetes story is about this warrior who's part of the Greek army and he gets bitten by a snake. His cries of pain are so loud and so disturbing that Odysseus just dumps him on an island. We are here. Families go through the diagnostic odyssey of trying to find a the diagnosis. It's a very lengthy, very traumatic journey to figure out what's wrong. They go to their pediatrician, pediatrician might say, oh, I don't know what this is. Go to the next one doctor, go to the next doctor. So then finally it takes about seven or eight doctors to get them a diagnosis. Which is so isolating and so, um, so devastating as a parent. Ten years ago, they left me here what people go through when they don't know what's going on, what's happening to me. Um, the gods are so far away at times, you don't know where they are or what, who are pulling the strings. One of the things Philoctetes, the main character who has the rare disease, he finds one that's on the journey with him. And that makes all the difference in the world. In the absence of cures, and when we, when we cannot cure something, we cannot fix it, we cannot change it, we can always heal and we can always grow. I couldn't do this alone, so I had a community. My doctors here were exceptional. He said if you want to find something, you really want to find it, put yourself in the story. We heal as a group. When we heal one person, that starts a chain reaction. You know, there are things on the horizons. What if we could get at the fabric, mend the stitch, cut the freight, change the story before it is meant? The cost of studying genetic alterations is advancing by leaps and bounds. Just amazing to hear about the other stories, you know, when um, mom just goes after the doctors within 10 years. We're pretty confident that it's a cure. For those of you who sometimes despair and our ability to change society, it's possible. There are just so many people who believe in the value of theater as a medium of communication around something they care so deeply about. The research happens and then we find ways in which we make it accessible to the public. Once you're aware, then you think about it. You know that that doesn't exist, that does Things actually happen. It's just giving my brokenness back for the life of the world. Like this is what you have to do if you can.